Hey YouTube, it's been a little while, as you can see, I'm now in glorious HD, 720p. I moaned about this camera a little bit at the beginning of the video I put up yesterday, which is a frustration fueled video, I admit, because uh, I'd hope the camera would just be a quick plug and play job, and it turned out not to be. I was actually thinking about returning it for a while there, but I uh, saw some videos on YouTube where people had managed to get the camera working at a full HD resolution and at 30 frames a second instead of the 10 that the software was hobbling me with. and. Um, but it took a little bit of work before I found out exactly how it is, but it wasn't clearly expressed in those videos how to go about it. As you can tell, the camera's twitching a bit because unfortunately I am capturing in virtual dub 1.9.11 uh, because it's the lowest overhead capture software I can find. The other ones seem to drop the frame rate a little bit more. So I've had to leave the autofocus turned on in the uh, slider settings because. Virtual Dub does not allow you a preview image in the background while you're adjusting the settings, so I'd be adjusting the focus blind. Anyway though, uh, the solution is quite simple. When you install the software that comes with the camera and the drivers that come with the camera, it analyzes your computer. I'm not sure it's by metrics or by it's at the actual individual machine, but it basically adjusts all the settings the camera will be allowed to use based upon what will be the most consistent behavior from the camera which means if it thinks that occasionally your machine will do something and it will drop the frame rate of capture down to 10 frames a second, 10 frames a second is all you'll be allowed to do because it keeps it consistent. So uh, it's not a good way to go about it really in my opinion. And it's unlikely to do that as well because say LifeCam software does things like active overlays and the um, live colour processing all the time. So if you're running those it's going to have a lot of background process going, it drops the performance of the system so it drops your overall capture rate that you're capable of doing. Uh, the way to get around this is to uninstall the LifeCam's uh, default software, go into your system settings, go to the hardware settings for the camera and reinstall the drivers and reinstall them as a generic USB video device. That's it. Once it's declared a generic USB device all modes are available to you, it's not locked out by using the specific drivers. I tried using uh, was it um, W Video Capture? That one still seemed to stick with the old specific camera settings, so didn't allow me to put on 10 frames a second there. Uh, AmCap was dropping a lot of frames. The only one I found so far that's operating at full 30 frames per second in HD 720p mode is Virtual Dub 1.9.11 and um, having to capture that without any compression. It's, it's going the live stream from the cam, which I believe is an MPEG, uh, motion JPEG stream. Uh, the sound I've had to turn compression off because the last time I recorded this it came out uh, knocked down to about half sample rate, so I was talking like very white. But um, yeah, that's how you get an HD 5000 camera to run in HD if it's not. Just ignore the software that comes with it. The software is a bit fresh. Alright, ta -ra. And...